Okay, uh, let's start. Hello, uh, thank you for joining my talk. Today, I would like to explain the uh, extrovert configuration. So let me introduce myself at first. I'm Masami Hiramats, work for Linaro as a senior tech lead for uh, Linaro members uh, learning team. In the uh, Linux kernel development, I'm responsible for the uh, KPROS boot config and its related tracing features and tools. Okay, so uh, let's start today's talk. Here is today's agenda. Um, let me start from kernel command line. The kernel command line is as you know, the boot options of the kernel. It's a way to pass the uh, boot options to the kernel. It passes a long uh, string uh, of the options, and and it was uh, it will be passed in the uh, parse in the uh, early stage of the Linux kernel boot. Uh, the implementations uh, of the uh, kernel command line uh, depends on their architecture because uh, the boot protocol are different. On the uh, x86, for example, uh, it passed over the memory area, uh, but uh, on the uh, ARM64, it uses the uh, device tree. So uh, the kernel command line has some limitations. We have our size and coding limitations. Uh, some uh, the most of the Arch support um, Tokyo byte command line, but uh, uh, must be our single line options. The Tokyo byte may be enough long, uh, but Tokyo byte single line is hard to read and also write. To solve this in limitation, I introduce. Uh, the extra boot configuration. What is the uh, extra boot configuration? It is a new kernel command line extension. I call it as boot config for short. Uh, this boot config is a uh, plain uh, ASCII text of the uh, tree structured key value list. Something like uh, the syscontrol conf file, but uh, more structured. The boot config will load it with the init of the image when boot, and there are in kernel APIs for that. So, uh, okay, let me explain the extra boot configuration syntax. It consists of a simple um, key value set. At least uh, the kernel, uh, the key is uh, dot, uh, at first, sorry, uh, the key is dot connected words. You can uh, consolidate the options for the same module uh, with the same prefix keys. And uh, you can set a value uh, or array values as a comma separated list as below. And uh, uh, some uh, same key words can be merged. Uh, for example, uh, key dot word one uh, equal value one and key dot value two equal value two. This uh, can be written as a key brace uh, word one equal value one and word two equal value two and brace so uh, the, uh, here are the uh, value assignment operators. We have three assignment operators. The equal uh, defines the value uh, of the key. And uh, colon equal, it overrides the uh, previous assignment. For example, key equal value and key colon equal var. Uh, is a key equal bar and a plus equal append the value as an array element. For example, key equal foo and the key plus equal bar is same as the key 
equal full uh, convert. So uh, this is the latest update of the root config syntax. We can mix the keys and value uh, on the uh, same key. For parent key, uh, we can have our value and sub keys as, uh, as below. Yeah. Uh, however, note that uh, you can not merge uh, value and sub key by brace. Uh, because uh, uh, it cannot identify a value is a key uh, key or value. Oh, uh, this is an important syntax, the comment. Uh, you can add comments on the boot config. If you put a comment, uh, you can remember why that is set. So uh, boot config uh, can expand uh, the kernel command line. If the, uh, if the uh, keys start from the uh, kernel keyword, um, those are uh, passed uh, to the kernel command line. Uh, uh, this example shows that the root partition uh, command line option. So that's uh, the kernel dot root equal uh, UUID uh, blah, 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 will be uh, uh, this uh, root equal UUID will be passed to the, the kernel command line. Also, uh, in the, the key started from init uh, passed to the, uh, the kernel command line, but after uh, double dash, this means that these are passed to init process. Uh, for example, uh, system D or something like that. And uh, um, uh, this um, example showed that the, the splash and the quiet option will be passed to the system D. Uh, however, note uh, these are automatically uh, copied to the proc command line. So that uh, if you set up that uh, those are uh, what's it, uh, the options, you can um, find that under the proc command line too. Okay, uh, here is the uh, example command line. Uh, it is very long and hard to read. Yeah, uh, but uh, if you use the boot config, this will be um, written like this. So compared with the uh, command line, you can easily understand what is uh, set and why because that, uh, there is a command uh, cor uh, comments and uh, each uh, what's the options um, what's the listed uh, for each uh, line and some command uh, some options are uh, consolidated with the, the uh, brace okay uh, let's see let's see more example so here is another example of the boot config that is the boot time tracing the boot time tracing is natively supporting the uh, boot config. So uh, its, op its option doesn't start uh, from kernel nor init, but it starts from ftrace. Uh, this shows an uh, example of the making um, histogram of init call functions. The usually histogram tracing needs a long command but as you can see that uh, the uh, boot config allows us to write it uh, by your structured style and it is easy to read. So uh, here is the uh, result of the histogram. You can see the uh, function name and elapsed time. And those are sorted by the, uh, the time. So uh, how we can pass the uh, boot config to the kernel? As I said before, uh, boot config file will be loaded with int D. So uh, there is a boot config command under uh, tools boot config that can handle the int D operation. So for example, uh, hyphen A option 
uh, will append your boot config file to init out the image. And uh, hyphen D option can delete it. Uh, moreover, if you uh, pass that uh, the init file, uh, init out the file to the uh, boot config, you can um, check that the current applied boot config file. And uh, also, uh, if you pass that uh, the boot config file to uh, boot config command, uh, it reformat the boot config file to uh, key value list. So uh, this shows how the uh, boot config file is appended to the init Audi image. Uh, that is appended to the init Audi with a footer. So kernel will check that the footer to decode it. Uh, note that you need to set the uh, boot config uh, kernel command line option for enable it. Or uh, if you, um, not uh, specify that uh, this boot to config uh, command uh, line option, the kernel uh, will ignore even if um, there is a boot config uh, in the tail of the uh, entire the image. So, um, so uh, here it's, uh, uh, let's see, here I showed that uh, the protfs interface, the uh, boot to config support the, the ProcFS interface. So when you boot up the, uh, the kernel with boot config, you can see that uh, what boot config is applied uh, via proc boot, uh, boot config like this. Uh, this is a key value list uh, because it's, uh, it is easier to uh, be handled by a shell script. Okay. So uh, here is today's uh, summary. I explained uh, the uh, extra boot configuration. It's a new way to pass the uh, boot parameter to Linux with structured uh, key value list. It's a uh, commentable um, configuration file and it can be used uh, complementary uh, with a uh, kernel command line. So uh, in the, uh, the future work, I would like to uh, integrate uh, the boot config command with the uh, uh, mkinitaod so that uh, if there, uh, there is uh, at say a default boot config, uh, mkinitaod will automatically call the uh, boot config command and uh, apply it to our new init LD. Okay, uh, for more information, uh, please read the uh, kernel documentation. And if you have any questions, uh, please ask me uh, on our RKML uh, email. Okay. Thank you very much for joining uh, my session. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.